Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Shader from Rock About Sound and in this video, we're gonna be creating a really sick metallic growl bass and this is what it sounds like. So, really nice sound here. If you guys like that sound, make sure you smash that like button and also click that subscribe button if you're new here, okay? Because we got weekly tutorials coming out basically every other day, just about every other day now. So, really sick tutorial schedule. Every other day, essentially, you know, you can't ask for anything more than insane serum tutorials. What do you say we go ahead and get started? Now, um, there's actually a really interesting technique that I'm using in the sound. Uh, if you stick around, then you'll actually learn what we're doing here. And well, actually there's a lot now that I just remembered it. Um, but what do you say we go ahead and get started? Now, oscillator A, we're gonna go spectral select our Reese mess number one. Now, I know it's a little bit strange using Reese mess number one because usually we wanna be running a basic shape like a sine waveform as our host for frequency modulation um, because you know it's there's not a lot of information being passed through. Um, as you can see here, Reese mess does have a, a lot going on in the waveform itself, so it's a little bit di more difficult to run the frequency modulation you'd think at first glance, but you know, since we are running a basic shape as the signal, it's not going to be as uh, gross of a sound. It sounds actually pretty nice. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to turn on our frequency modulation. I hope I was kind of clear on that. Um, I know I could have explained that a little bit poorly, but um, anyways, I'll show you right now. We're going to drop the level of oscillator B here because now we're gonna start our frequency modulation. We are going to turn up our FM from V up 50% here. And you know, I know you'd think, you would think that it wouldn't sound that good, but it actually sounds decent. Any, um, any bit of FM before the 50 percentile just kind of sounds gross. But You know, it sounds good. It sounds good overall, you know? So yeah, we're just going to drop this octave back down here to zero. And we're going to go to basic shapes. And the cool thing about this is any shape that you really choose, it sounds cool. Uh, but particularly, I like the saw waveform. So I'm just gonna leave it at the standard saw. And I'm gonna start our modulation here. I'm just going to kind of create this nice little shape here with our slopes just a little something like this should be nice and uh, we're just going to put that onto our FM here um, since it is on 50% it did try and uh, to go back and forth but I'm just going to move that real quick so we are only going one one direction forward one direction yeah so we're just going to map this up six not too great of a sound right now but hear me out hear me out okay next you're going to notice that's the tone that we really want to achieve here um so all we're going to do here is we're going to actually modulate the octave here is one of the um kind of tricks that i was mentioning that you guys probably did not kind of know here um by modulating the octave it almost creates like an auto-tune effect here. Um, let me turn this rate down to one bar. As you can hear, it's just jumping from one octave to the other, and you know, it's it's not smooth. It's not a steady transition at all. It's just jumping very, very, um, almost like steps, just moving up. Kind of like auto-tune, and that's really what makes this bass so cool. Um, moving into the filter, we're just going to go into our multis, and we're going to select our high peak filter. So that's a combination filter. We're mixing a high pass and a peak. Uh, but anyways, we're going to modulate the cut of the cutoff of the high pass here, up about 63 points, which is going to bring us about like what 2,000 hertz? No, not even close. Uh, 1,500 around. Resonance is going to go up 50%. That way we can get more presence of the filter and then frequency is going to go at like 10%, 13%, somewhere around here. Okay, so we have our starting point for the sound, but it's not quite where we want it. Um, here's going to be where the distortion comes into play. 
We are just going to blast this drive all the way here on the tube. And now you can hear the bass that we are making. Okay, um, next we're going to turn on our phaser. Um, and we're going to turn our depth at around, let's say, uh, 20% <laughs> sounds like ass right now, but hear me out. We're just going to modulate this up about 24 points. And now we're going to turn on the frequency. And as you can hear, as we turn on the frequency, we get a completely different tone of the vowel. And then I'll just turn on this mix to about 60 something percent. That's sounding good. Um, next, we're going to turn on our hyper and dimension, and we're just going to slide that under the phaser. Um, and now, here, just move, turn on the mix, and then uh, for the dimension, you guys should already know uh, low size, high mix. And now, here's the part where. If you guys listen closely, there is the low end on the sound. It's just out of control. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to emulate a low pass filter. Well, not emulate. We're actually going to create a low pass filter with the equalizer here. Um, we're just going to simply turn this slope. So the cut slope and we're just going to turn the Q factor um, all the way down here until we start to lose this resonant peak right here. And we're just going to modulate it from 22 hertz all the way up to around 1,400. Now this is all going to really make sense once we turn on the multiband compressor. So we're going to turn on compressor and we're going to turn on multiband. And that's going to even everything out and it's really just going to shape this a little bit better. Turn up the gain. And that's all it took to make this bass got it's a really cool sound here. You can mess around with different LFO shapes. So, a lot of things you can do with the sound here. If you guys like that sound, make sure you guys smash that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. But without further ado, I'm Shane from Rock Proud Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next video.